Each time I look at this airplane, I have a memory of my childhood coming back. And I'm sure you have the same memory. It's the Walt Disney animation cartoon of Dumbo. This baby elephant was born with ears that were so enormous that everybody was making fun of him until he could deploy his ears and fly. When Solar Impulse was born 12 years ago, and we could show the enormous wings and the light weight of its structure on computer design, all the specialists in the world of aviation started to laugh. Like, stupid people can laugh at Dumbo. Today, this airplane exists. It's the most incredible airplane of its time. It can fly with no fuel, day and night, and we hope that we can make it around the world. But what strikes me even more personally than just the technology that makes this plane fly is the quality of the people who are part of Solar Impulse. The team, of course. You know, everybody is applying to be part of this team, to have a job at Solar Impulse. Poor people, they don't know how difficult it is. They don't know how high the threshold of anxiety must be to cope with all the question marks, with all the problems, the difficulties, the questions with no answers that we're facing every day in order to find the solutions. Solar Impulse is one example of what we can do when we believe that we can achieve the impossible. And this brings hope. But a part of this hope is about clean technologies, is about all the technologies that allow to protect humankind. And I'm very clear, it's not a misunderstanding when I say to protect humankind, because we always say we have to protect nature and the environment. But don't worry, Nature's, nature is taking care of itself very well. And if humankind disappears, nature will continue. What we have to do is to protect humankind against pollution, against deprivation of natural resources, against all the problems that can destroy the value of human beings. This is why the supporters are so important, and this is why we have this transmission live on the web also today, to have the most possible number of people who follow us be able to participate with us today and be part of the quality of the people who make Solar Impulse possible. You are part of it. We thank you deeply and we wanted to share that day with you because for all of us, it's one of the most important days of the project before we'll take off and land, hopefully successfully next year. Thank you for being here. Well, the first one is that we didn't want to uh, spend too much time taking swimming lessons, so we really had to work on the reliability of the airplane, make sure that we had no trouble in the air. You know, when you fly from the Switzerland to China, it takes about 12 hours. If you have to change a motor, you can do this after that. If you have to change a computer, you can replace it. But when we will fly, it will take 120 hours at least. No time to do maintenance, no time to change a part. Uh, so the architecture of this airplane had to be designed in such a way that this will allow us to fly so long. The second difference between these two airplanes is that we needed also a higher performance. When we leave the coast of China or the coast of the United States, it's nice weather, but we don't know what the weather is going to be five, six days later when we arrive on the other side of the ocean. So we need to be able to cross clouds, to fly through clouds. We need to be able to fly uh, with the skies which are partly covered. We need energy reserves. And this we achieved in three ways. First, this airplane is bigger than the first one, even bigger. Eight meters more wingspan, 15%. Second also, we had to use the new technologies, lighter materials. Decision, for example, has used carbon uh, layers 
which weighs 25 grams per square meter. It's uh, one third of the weight of the paper that you have and that you get from your printing machine at home. We also need and need it to have a more efficient system, more efficient components, more efficient motors. The electric motors that you have in this airplane have an efficiency of 94%. They're manufactured by Etel, a company closed in Neuchâtel. And I think it's a good demonstration about what small to mid-sized companies are doing in Switzerland. Being innovative, being extremely advanced in these uh, technologies. The third difference with these two airplanes is that as we have to fly five days, five nights, we had to develop an environment for the, uh, for the pilots to sustain, in fact, this long duration. Uh, we can simply say that this airplane is really sustainable in terms of energy, and we have to make the pilot sustainable as well. So what we have went is from a bad economic class on the first airplane, thanks to Lontal, another Swiss company, to a good business class seat. But what we also had to do is, of course, to have an autopilot. But as we were alone, we had to think about a system which we call a virtual co-pilot, an equipment which supervises what this airplane is doing and wake, wake up the pilot when something is going wrong and when the pilot has to, uh, has to intervene. And if you look at these three differences, the difficulty is that they are conflicting in their objective. If you want to be more reliable, you will be heavier. If you are heavier, you will have less performance, which is not what we want. And I tell you, it's a tremendous work, and it's extremely difficult to, at a certain stage, stop the development. Because you always can do better. You always can find more margin. You can always be safer. But at a certain stage, you have to make all these developments, all these technologies, all these ideas converge together so that today we are able to present you a finished airplane. Not only for Switzerland, I think that's a great day also for the world. Congratulations for this work. Merci pour ce parfait tour d'horizon de votre projet. Audacieux, précis et parfaitement organisé, je suis impressionné. En Suisse, pour ça, on a un mot pour les... La Suisse population connaît ça, on peut dire en bref, « Freude herrscht ». Au nom du Conseil fédéral, j'aimerais encore une fois féliciter les hommes et les femmes qui travaillent sur ce nouvel avion. Um... It's a, it's a great hope, I think, and a, and a great signal of, of hope for the future uh, through this incredible project of innovation, of technology, of passion, but also of courage and to, of incredible demonstration of the human spirit and when, what uh, it can achieve if, uh, if we think a little differently and think in terms of uh, sustainability and what, this, uh, and what uh, the possibility of uh, sustainable uh, means of transportation and, and uh, flight.